Now, for the last four weeks, Mary Berry has been putting some famous faces to the test, and tonight we find out who's crowned Celebrity Best Home Cook. Well, very good morning to you, uh, Mary Berry. How lovely to have you on the show. It gets quite emotional, doesn't it, this show? It goes beyond the food and it goes into something that resonates with them about their own lives. It's kind of incredible to watch. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's really got everybody cooking and they're true cooks. They've got better and better as the programme has gone on. And today is the final, tonight. It's very exciting. Were you surprised at uh, how good some of the celebrities have been? Because I think Angela was a little bit sceptical, wasn't she, behind the scenes? I'm thinking, well, they're all celebrities, how good can they be? But actually, they're pretty good. To start with, I was a little bit worried because I didn't think they'd take it seriously, but they certainly have. And the standard has gone up and up and up. And uh, the semi-final last night, they did really well. And uh, tonight... Um, you'll be really surprised. They have wonderful food. I tell you what, last night I felt, I really felt for Fern because she's a good cook and she went home. Fern, oh, it was so sad to see her go. She was very inventive and she did light cooking and she really got better and better and all was so interesting and things tasted. She did her seasoning well. Uh, I was very sad to see her go. We all three were. Yeah. And what I'm liking is I'm wondering whether when we're out of lockdown and all this gets back to normal one day, will you ever want to mingle amongst us normal people ever again? Because on this show, you're ripping your, your gallery, you're looking down upon them with your binoculars. It seems very... You seem very at home up there, Mary Berry, I have to say. Very royal. <laughs> Do you know, it, I had a really good view. I had these binoculars and I could see into the pan below. <laughs> um, I could spy on them. Um, I, I could see every detail, but it was sensible for me to be away from everybody. So I didn't walk around with the other two judges, um, which I would have liked to have done. I did at the very end. I'll tell you what, I think, is it Tom who was pretty brave? Did he make you a Victoria sponge at some point? Which is your favourite cake of all time? He... That is oh, a bold <laughs> move for hey. anyone. He did make me a Victoria sponge. It wasn't that good, oh. but um, he excelled in other things. He was very brave. <laughs> he did a lot of winging it. And that's not good in the kitchen, is it? Can you not wing? Cakes you can't wing, but savoury food you can, can't you? That You can do it that way. Uh, well, you can, but I think they all put their all into it. And... Um, in the final, which um, is coming up tonight, um, we're doing it in a slightly different order. It's rustle up first, and then we choose the final from that, and they go on to, uh, to don't have to do any more and don't have to go in the eliminator. And then, in the final, they do my ultimate. Your ultimate? And they've got to do really, really well. And oh uh, there's only two of them. Uh, and so they will... Uh, one of them will... Uh, go. Uh, one of them doesn't have to do the um, uh, eliminator, the one who's done well in the first challenge. And Mary, you must be aware, must you, of when you walk into a kitchen, when you walk into a room and somebody's got to cook for you, that their blood pressure goes through the roof. And do you feel sorry for them? In a, do you have some sympathy for them? They're cooking for you. <laughs> well, I think that... Um, uh, if they're my friends cooking for me, they usually do something that they're uh, special of their family or they've had on holiday that they've perfected. Um, I don't mind whether... It, to me, it's the company as well as the food. And I think all um, our competitors in, in the competition have just put their all into it and they've come up with such interesting food, often doing little extra things as well as the main thing that we've asked them to do. And you say that making mistakes isn't a, isn't a, a sort of game-changer for you. Making mistakes is all right. And making a mistake is... We all make mistakes. It's how you get out of it. Um, earlier in the competition, uh, Rachel uh, had her cake and it fell over. She immediately picked it up and assembled it again and didn't sort of, you know, throw it to one side and say, I've had it. We should all be able to cope after a mistake, particularly in the kitchen. 
After all, people want to be fed. Well, do you, do you make mistakes even now? Or, or are you just perfect? I'm, please don't say you make me. We all want you to be perfect. You know that, don't you? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm certainly not perfect. I'm, I make mistakes. Just ask my children. And uh, if it started off as something, it might... You know, if you break a meringue or something, um, if you add some fruit to it, um, you can make a, a eaten mess. So uh, you've got to get out of these things. Yes, you can't be rigid, can you, in the kitchen? You've got to be a bit more flexible, I think. What, um, tell me, you've been married, is it for 54 years? Am I right? 54 years, yes. I mean, what's um, an incredible I'm very journey. Lucky. We're very happy. And it, do you... Uh, we've had a wonderful, wonderful life. And do you think... That, I mean, lots of couples have been Sorry? spending a lot of time together, haven't they, during this past year, more than perhaps they would couples, you know, been spending a lot of time together. Is cooking and eating together, do you think, a, a good sort of tool for keeping the passion alive and keeping the conversation going? Well, um, all the time through COVID, um, I've been cooking, everybody's been cooking. It's a way of cheering everybody up feeding them and we've all had time to make interesting things and try out things, get the children cooking. Um, I think it's been a huge relief to everybody uh, to be able to cook and enjoy uh, good food. But do things go in and out of fashion, say in cakes? I mean, cupcakes have been everywhere. Are you still a fan or have you moved on? What, what if, we, if you're coming around for tea, Mary, what are we baking for you? Well, Randy, it wouldn't be cupcakes. Oh. Do you know, I very often go back to that wonderful Victoria sandwich. Um, it's a cake that I'll keep for a couple of days and uh, it is the very, very best. I make different flavourings, but um, I think uh, to feed people, it makes everybody relax and a really good cake, but not cupcakes. They've usually got too much icing on and I think those times have passed. Right, well, I'm making a quick note of that for when I'm allowed to invite you round to mine. I won't make that mistake. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about cutting hair. Now, you're, you look resplendent all the time. But men, have you been cutting your husband's hair at all? Because we're going to be talk, giving some tips about it in a minute. Oh, uh, cutting hair. My hair normally is hanging down here and it, I, I've had quite enough of it, but it's been smartened up today, uh, thanks to Joe. And um, I've been cutting my husband's hair and I'm amazed that he let me near him and I do a little bit at a time, but I've no idea what I'm doing. I sort of do like the hairdressers do and not uh, making it like a pudding <laughs> basin. I think it's not too bad. I mean, he's not ma making his face known on telly this morning, so I'm not sure he's that happy about it. But um, uh, if he's there, he could make an appearance. <laughs> uh, but you have very steady hands, we know this. So I'm sure he's in very safe hands. We look forward to the final tonight. And I have to say, just by having you on the show, it elevates us all. We all feel a little bit more regal when you're around, I have to say, Mary Berry. Uh, how lovely to have you on the show and good luck with the final tonight. Uh, it's on at 9pm oh, on very BBC. exciting. It will be. It's a gorgeous show. It's a gorgeous programme. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.